Hey everybody, Vincent here. Today let's talk about CentOS disappearing. At least, kind of anyway. If you haven't heard yet, CentOS is going away, at least the non-stream version of it, after the current CentOS 7 release, end of life's in 2024. So where does this leave people like me that uses CentOS on the server side, really mostly for tinkering around, but still wants to have something like that that is Red Enterprise Linux compatible without having to go out and deal with Red Hat directly and pay them the money, right? Well, there is some alternatives out there. There's Oracle Linux, which I don't know. I, <laughs> I have some concerns about trusting Oracle, kind of like you might with IBM, right? Because, you know, they could change anything under us at any time and take away from us Oracle Linux. Uh, I don't know. I feel kind of iffy about it, but maybe it's a good idea. I'm thinking that some people will probably make the switch. In addition to that, there is something called, what is it? I think it's Rocky Linux. It is something like that. And um, you could, in theory, maybe use that. That's supposed to be the founder of CentOS is actually taking the Red Hat source code and basically doing the same thing again uh, with this new name uh, out from under Red Hat. So you might look into doing something with that in the future, but that's still under development. And so we'll see how that turns out. For me... I don't know. I think for right now, I will probably stay with CentOS 7 for anything that needs CentOS, at least for the time being, because uh, we do have till 2024, and hopefully by then, there will be things like Rocky Linux or Oracle will come up and be able to replace it um, and, and provide kind of a similar level of OS and support and things like that that you might be looking for from the community, things like that. So, I don't know. This is just a really quick video. <laughs> Uh, and I just wanted to kind of get my thoughts out there that I'm kind of uncertain about this, just like everybody else is, I think, right now. Where do we go, right? Do we move everything to Oracle? Or do we stay with CentOS for now? Do we uh, decide to go out and get Red Hat, you know, actual support and everything and go out and pay them and use Red Enterprise Linux for real instead of, you know, CentOS, which is a repackage? You know, how are we going to handle this situation going forward? And I think... That is going to be something that we'll want to watch for the future and see how companies that are using CentOS handle that. How are you going to handle that? Are you using a VPS out there and running CentOS right now for something? Let me know in the comments how that you've decided to uh, move away if you've already made the decision. And if not, maybe give everybody your thought process if you feel like so uh, doing so in the comments. But yeah, this is pretty much all I got for you. So until next time, thanks for checking out Open Source Tonight. This is Vincent signing off. If you haven't heard yet, the Red Hat team, well, is it? Mm.